Hello, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio. Last night marked the first debate of the 2020 presidential election. President Trump and former Vice President Biden went head to head in their first broadcasted debate. For those of you who watched it, the face off got pretty ugly pretty fast. Name calling and interruption occurred throughout the debate. Moderator Chris Wallace tried his best to redirect the candidates and keep the conversation on track, a task that proved very difficult. The candidates spoke about COVID-19 and the hope for vaccines in the near future. Here's what they had to say about that. This is the same man it's who all told set you up. by Easter this had be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous, like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm and that would take care of it. This is the that same man. That was said sarcastically, that was you seen, know that. I, that I, was I, said sarcastically. And so here's the deal. This man is talking about a vaccine. Every serious, every serious company is talking about maybe having a vaccine done by the end of the year. But the distribution of that vaccine will not occur until sometime beginning or the middle of next year to get it out if we get the vaccine. And pray God we will. The biggest controversy last night, however, came when President Trump was asked to denounce all white supremacist groups. Take a listen. And to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right the Proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this is a left-wing problem. This said is a left-wing no, problem. Ahead, white supremacist. Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it, Not malicious. That's what oh, his right. it's an FBI... Idea. His okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said, "Well, then you know what? No, no, we're done. We're done, sir. Everybody, we're moving on to the next. We're moving on to the next. Your head, that's not an idea. Everybody Antifa in your administration tells you the truth is a bad, is a bad idea. Can I tell you what? You have no Antifa, ideas. That are Antifa is a dangerous, All right. radical Gentlemen, group. we're now moving on to the Trump and, and Biden record, and to say that they need to stand down and not." The next scheduled event is the vice presidential debate one week from today in Salt Lake City, Utah, and the next presidential debate will be October 15th in Miami, Florida. We have some weather for the middle of your week. First alert meteorologist Alex Wasilenko has that forecast for us. Happy hump day and happy halfway to Friday, everybody. I'm your First Alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko, reporting from the First Alert Weather Center on this last day of September, believe it or not. We're going to conclude the month of September with some cooler fall-like feels in the air. It's all due in part to a cold front that continues to push offshore, leaving behind those cooler conditions and breezy west winds. We do have some high pressure waiting in the wings that will eventually engulf eastern North Carolina this afternoon into the early evening with lots of sunshine as high pressure remains nearby overnight into early Thursday morning. Skies remain clear and temperatures will be chilly by the time we wake up Thursday. We'll be discussing temperatures in the low 50s Thursday morning. From there, we'll head into the upper 70s for Thursday afternoon as winds turn out of the south and an abundance of sunshine becomes ever so clear for your Thursday forecast. Be sure to download that free First Alert weather app to track all those sunny times ahead of us here in eastern North Carolina, but also to track one last cold front by week's end. That's right. We're tracking one more cold front uh, slated to move into east Eastern North Carolina on Friday. It will deposit a few fair weather clouds into the forecast and also an outside chance of a stray sprinkle or shower for both inland and coastal communities. The bigger weather story with this cold front, though, is going to be the continued cold air that is to follow. Temperatures Saturday and Sunday will be in the upper 60s and low 70s inland with lower to middle 70s along the coast. Certainly going to be a great weekend to get in some fall activities, maybe heading to the pumpkin patch or going out to the mountains of North Carolina to take in all the beautiful fall. Foliage. Make it a great and wonderful rest of your Wednesday and last day of September. I'm your First Alert Meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. Stay with us and we'll be right back with some more news after this short break.
Tonight on your side, reporters are all across the East and in your neighborhood. In Tarboro. In Kinston. In Greenville. At Atlantic Beach. Covering local stories that impact you. The groundbreaking ceremony is the beginning of construction for Moorhead City's fourth city hall. People from all over the state of North Carolina gathered at the Sycamore Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Historic Turnage Theater in Washington helps the community celebrate art and culture. See their original reporting weekdays on 9 in Your Side News. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're just tuning in, I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio, providing you with some early afternoon updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest and up-to-date news before our nightly newscast. The NFL is postponing this weekend's game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and Tennessee Titans Sunday due to COVID-19. The Steelers and Titans were set to kick off at 1 o'clock Sunday in Nashville. It would have been the first game of the season where Tennessee fans would have been able to attend at 10% of stadium capacity. Now the game will be rescheduled to Monday or Tuesday of next week. This is after three Titans players and five team employees tested positive for the coronavirus on Tuesday. Defensive lineman Daquan Jones, long snapper Bo Brinkley, and practice squad tight end Tommy Hudson have been placed on the reserve COVID-19 list. This morning, a Titans spokesperson announced another player has now also tested positive. The league said they want to reschedule in order to allow additional time for COVID testing to ensure the health and safety of players, coaches, and other game day personnel. This is the first outbreak to hit the NFL. Well, that wraps up this WNCT Now early afternoon update. I'll be back again at 4 with another update for you. Thanks so much for watching.